KD had a parting gift for the Bay Area, and it's one that will allow his legacy to live on. Though things seem to be pretty tense amongst the teammates, KD admits that he begged to join the Warriors. But now, his future is with the Nets, and some fans of the basketball team have a pretty optimistic theory about his injury. Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Devin Howard, back again with more sports news. If you like staying up to date with me, follow me on Instagram at Devin Howard, and of course, make sure you subscribe to the fumble and click the bell for notifications. Though most of the Dub Nation didn't appreciate KD as they should have, he made sure he'd be remembered in the Bay Area. The athlete had a parting gift for his former home, a gorgeous renovated playground and basketball court in the city. KD announced that he and his business, 35 Ventures, through his charity, the Kevin Durant Charity Foundation, finished the outdoor basketball court in San Francisco. But make no mistake, this is not your average community park. The court was designed by Apex One, a San Francisco native, and it is truly beautiful. It's unique and colorful and hopefully will get kids in the area outside playing ball. And it certainly will be a constant reminder of KD's impact on the team and the city, which included three All-Star selections, three All-NBA selections, two titles, and two NBA Finals MVPs in his three years with the Warriors. KD took to his own Instagram to show off his contribution to the city with the caption, celebrating our 20th court, always got love for the Bay. KD has been involved in a myriad of philanthropic efforts in the Bay Area, and this one may be his last. In a recent interview with 24-7 Sports, he discussed his decision to join the NorCal team. Believe it or not, KD begged to be a part of the team. It was a controversial choice for the basketball star back in 2016. At that time, they were coming off a 73-win season, and they became basically unbeatable with KD on the roster for the next three years. When his journey with the team hadn't even begun yet though, he remembers convincing his agent to get in with them. He said, quote, My agent, Rich Kleiman, we were watching game seven. Well, as it started to unfold, it was no question, no way you could go to this team. And I was just like a kid, like, I'd really like playing with these guys. I'd get wide open threes. I could just run up and down the court, get wide open layups. I was basically begging him. I was like, yo, Yo, this would be nice. I guess you could say I'm glad they lost. KD's three-year tenure with the Warriors was a tremendous success, and even though he didn't get the recognition he deserved, the accolades the team achieved together were monumental. Three finals in a row, two wins, they were a super team. Now the star player is off to the East Coast to recover for a year and then start playing with the Nets. There's been some speculation as to whether or not KD will be able to get back to the athlete he once was. The Nets certainly have faith in him as they offered him a four-year, $164 million contract. And the fans believe in him too. In fact, one Brooklyn fan has an entire theory about how KD will be able to come back just as strong as he was was pre-injury. In a post on their website, Nets Daily notes that other players who have suffered the same injury as KD dealt with the ruptured Achilles on their left ankle, but Kevin's was his right. They write, quote, All the players who had their careers ended were right-handed and tore their left Achilles. Durant is right-handed and tore his right Achilles. Brand and Kobe both had to either jump off their off foot or both feet post-injury. Since Durant jumps off his left foot and that Achilles is fine, he won't have this issue. Basically, this person did some digging and determined that the players who weren't able to regain explosiveness all tore their left Achilles and were right-handed players. They also found that the athletes who had 100% recoveries from an Achilles injury with no decline in level of play were all right-handed players who all tore their right Achilles. Furthermore, this fan notes that most athletes recovering from a ruptured Achilles are only out of the season for around eight months so Durant could even be back and ready to play as early as February. This is definitely an optimistic perspective, and for KD's sake and the Nets' sake, I hope this person is accurate. What do you all think, though? Does KD's Achilles injury put him in a better position for the future? What do you think about him begging to join the Warriors? Sound off in the comments, make sure you subscribe. I'm Devin Howard, see you later.